Hey guys, so this is Luna. She is a golden doodle and she is about one year old. I've been grooming her now for a couple months and when she first came to me she had been recently shaved down by another groomer but her owners really like her to have long fluffy hair and she has really different coat than most golden doodles so obviously the first thing you might notice that's different is that she is black or silver as opposed to most golden doodles that are of course golden but they do come in this color and they come in a few different colors as well but in any case she is a golden doodle her hair texture is not very curly it's actually quite wiry and then she has a pretty dense soft undercoat and so it's really important for her that instead of doing a traditional haircut um, actually what she needs is a really good de-shed or brush out um, I also call it like an undercoat removal and it can also be referred to kind of like hand stripping um, although it's slightly different than that but we do use hand stripping techniques on Luna as well as mainly um, undercoat removal. So as you can see, Luna loves to be groomed. She's so happy when she arrives and she loves coming in when she's the first dog of the day. She has the grooming job to herself and she can run around for a minute. She gets right up on the grooming table on her own and I get started first thing with combing her out. And here I'm using just a Greyhound comb. It's a metal comb and then actually this particular one, I weave a rubber band through the comb, um, through the teeth of the comb. And the rubber band just helps to grab the coat. So instead of just the metal teeth, there's a rubber band that helps grab that undercoat and pull it out. You can see right here where I'm kind of pulling pretty hard, it's not that it's hurting her by any means, it's just that around the base of the ear is really thick, so it looks a little rough, but as you can see, Luna doesn't mind. All of the coat that I'm pulling out is dead already, so it's pretty much ready to come out. You don't have to pull very hard to get it out. Um, and so what I do with Luna here is I just kind of pick a starting place, which is generally her head and her ears. Um, her muzzle around her eyes, her chin, and just work my way down her body, going down her neck and her chest and her legs. But I'm going to go over her entire body from the tip of her nose to the tip of her tail with this banded comb, just pulling out all of the loose undercoat. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video just because it is a lot of combing. Um, you'll also see me use an undercoat rake. Um, the undercoat rake is just a little bit more powerful than a comb, but it's the same idea. I'm not really using it too much um, to the point where I'm pulling out live hair. I'm just pulling out the dead stuff so you can see that tool that I have in my hand now is an undercoat rake. You can see how well it works, and here is the sped up version. And one more thing before I speed it up, um, I'm doing all of this before the bath. So you can do it after, but it's good to do it before because um, you'll expose all the hair follicles and it's nicer to wash the dog once all of that dead skin and coat is stirred up versus if you were to do this after the bath, there would probably be a lot of dander and dirt that would show up that just wasn't able to come off in the bath, um, but would come out once you start pulling the hair. So all of this is done before the bath. All right, here's the sped up version.
All right, so as I'm finishing up the de-shedding, the next thing I do before getting Luna in the bathtub is clean her ears and make sure that there's nothing going on in there. I just take a cotton pad, a little bit of ear cleaner, and go ahead and clean out mostly just the outside of her ear. I try to stay pretty clear of the inside. I don't want to create any problems um, that aren't there to begin with. I just check to make sure there is nothing going on. All right, let's see if I can make it. Uh, sort of. <laughs> so here's a giant pile of hair I pulled out of Luna. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do before she goes in the bathtub is get her nails done. So I start by using nail clippers and clip off the ends of them. And then I go and use a Dremel to make them as short as possible and nice and smooth and round. You can tell Luna does not mind getting her nails done. She's just such a good girl. I love grooming her, and I'm so lucky that she behaves so great because, of course, not every dog is as good as Luna. And of course, you can't forget the dew claws. So Luna is all ready for her bath. I've removed all of that undercoat that's behind her. That's just all the dead stuff. You notice stop raking when you're getting less and less coat out with each brush. So you don't want to over rake the coat and damage it. You just want to stop once you've pulled out all of the dead stuff. Luna is checking out all of her hair. Um, so now she's going to get in the tub and get a bath. <laughs> So there are so many shampoos that you can use to groom dogs, and my favorite brand to use is Tropiclean. Um, you know, there's a lot of other good ones too, but you got to pick one. Tropiclean has really nice ingredients, and so here is their Shed Control Shampoo and then their Shed Control Conditioner, both of which you want to let sit on the dog for about 5 to 10 minutes each. Um... I'm not really sure if that's the instructions on the bottle, to be honest, but that's what I do, and it usually turns out great. Here's Luna getting her bath, and sorry for the poor video quality. Um, I'm just getting back into making videos, so I definitely hope to improve them soon and get back to posting at least regularly and get back in the practice of shooting footage, but it is what it is. I think it's still pretty good, so I hope you enjoy watching Luna get her bath. Now that Luna is all clean and dry, it's time to start her finish work. So I do that by first shaving out her paw pads. I take a 30 blade on my clippers and I get all of the hair that's in between her paw pads shaved out. This is for cleanliness and also it helps with grip on slippery floors and it helps from debris getting stuck in there in between grooms. So um, I pretty much shave the paw pads on almost every dog that I groom, even dogs that are just getting bath and nails, not full haircuts. And it really is just a good way to keep your dog's paws nice and clean. 
So after I get all the paw pads shaved out, I'm going to go start working on some of the finishing trimming for Luna. And Luna's owners really like a very natural, fluffy, full look, kind of scruffy. They don't like much trimming at all. And in fact, after this groom, Luna's already been back to me one other time and they wanted her face left even fuller. So that's great. Um, you know, I love kind of adjusting my grooms to what people want. So in this clip, I took the top of her head, um, not really that short at all, but I did trim it a little bit and her owners wanted it left even longer the next time she was in because they like to put bows in her hair. So you'll see, I'm just doing really, really minimal trimming up, cleaning out her eyes a little bit just so that she can see a little bit better and just evening out the top of her head, her jaw, her ears, but I'm not really taking much length off. I'm just evening things out and making her just look pretty and neatened up. So right here, I'm just using a comb to pull the hair forward or push it backwards, just kind of making sure I look at it from all angles. And I'm using a pair of curved scissors. They're really nice to just get a good round, blended jawline and visor line like around the eyes so curved shark fin scissors and a greyhound comb i'll also go back in with thinning scissors a little bit around her face just to blend in some of the harsher lines that the curved scissors create but for the most part the curved scissors do a great job with the outline of the face and the ears and you can see Luna really likes getting pampered. She just sits there. She behaves so well for us and I'm so grateful. And she looks maybe a little bit bored, but that's because I think she comes so often that she's just like, yeah, I know what you're doing. And she kind of falls asleep because she's so comfortable. But I promise you, she loves it and she is enjoying getting spoiled and pampered for the day. Usually I do their face trimming at the end of the groom if they're getting a full haircut, but like I mentioned, Luna doesn't get a full haircut. She just gets a really light trim, so I figured I would just get her face done first, and then I could always go back and just neaten it up at the end, which I definitely did in this particular groom, but I got the bulk of it out of the way, and then I could just go back later and touch it up. So now I'm moving on to doing her feet, and for her feet, I use a comb to make sure I get out all the little thickness, knots, and tangles, that sort of thing including in between the toes you always want to make sure that there's no knots in between the toes because that's a spot that they can hide and then I'm using some curved chunkers to just round out her paws like I mentioned her owners love a big fluffy foot so I'm really not taking any length off I'm just neatening and shaping her legs just going in with some curved scissors to make things look neat and tidy and here is a super satisfying view of her back leg trim. So this is her back hawk trim. And um, yeah, these scissors just make this look so easy because it is. And they show her angles perfectly. And I love doing a groom like this where I just have to neaten the outline. It's super easy, super satisfying, and you gotta love it. These scissors are curved chunkers that are actually custom made uh, by a local sharpener and I'm just so lucky to have him in my area. He makes these scissors and he showed them to me at a dog show one time and I was sold instantly. So just like everything else with Luna, I'm just going to lightly neaten her tail by combing it all down and using a longer pair of curved scissors just to take the edge off and make it look neat and tidy. And you can see she's such a pretty girl. I love her scruffy face and actually I think I did go back and trim up her face a little bit after that clip just to neaten it a little bit more and round it up a little bit more but I didn't catch everything on video but anyways she is all done and I love that this is a different kind of groom than I usually get to do with doodles she's just so beautiful and so unique 
So I finish everything off with a super cute bandana with bees on it. And then this has been my favorite spray recently. It's Esprit Coconut Cream. It smells like the beach. It's so good. And thank you, Luna, for being such a good dog. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. I hope to bring you more soon.